I'm Harley. I just finished season four of Arrow and it was really good. I really enjoyed this season. Baby Batgirl is not excited that I'm making this video. She's sitting next to me, but I'm going to try to power through. Uh, hopefully she won't start actually crying. She's just fussing a little bit. Um, so Stephen Amell reprises his role as Oliver. David Ramsey is back as John Diggle. Uh, Paul Blackthorne uh, is back as Quentin Lance. Emily Richards continues her role as Felicity Smoke. And Will Holland plays the uh, Queen. Um, this season was really interesting because it focused more on uh, magic than anything else. There was a great um, crossover episode with The Flash this season that I really appreciated. It really makes me want to watch The Flash again um, and go back and because I know... I do remember there was episodes where the Arrow team would cross over into the Flash uh, universe. Um, well, not universe. They're the same universe. Um, into the Flash series is what I'm trying to say. And um, so I know there are, are episodes that run together like they're supposed to be. Like you watch one and then watch the other. Um, and I've never really done that. So I think I might go back and try to do that. Um the other thing that I really liked about this season were the Constantine um, episodes where he gets to come in and really teach Oliver about magic and um, the mysticism in the world and how to, to utilize that. Um, those were really interesting to me because I really enjoyed the Constantine uh, TV series when it was on. There's actually an animated series that I was going to look into watching. Um, it's not really a, a comic that I've ever took the time to read um, just because there's so many things that I do read already um, that if I did look into all of those things um, I just wouldn't have any free time and I have a lot of other interests so you know my time is um, is limited I just I don't I don't have unlimited time to read everything I want watch everything I want play everything I want and take care of my kids and uh, be a good wife and mother so um, I have to take shortcuts sometimes, and that includes watching shows instead of reading books. Oh, baby girl, hang in there. Um, okay, so this season I also loved the Felicity and Oliver love story. I loved finally seeing them get together and um, get to really appreciate that, because I love to watch love. It's just one of my favorite things. Um, also, I love that this season they are like more self-aware. Like I love shows that acknowledge themselves. Um, there's one part where Donna, Felicity's mom, is visiting, and she mentions something like, geez, it seems like you're doing this kind of thing every week. Well, yeah, it's a weekly show, so it's really kind of um, cute that they, like, sort of, you know, acknowledge that. Um, this season, oh, and I love, uh, there's there's familiar faces. The CW has a great way of reutilizing their talent, so um, one of the main antagonists this season is a guy named Meacham, who also is was in last season of Supernatural. Um, and then with the backstory of Oliver, um, there's also some uh, Russian characters that he encounters that um, are used in other shows. Uh, one in particular that I recognized is used in this season's um, The Hundred. So uh, you can see like people that you've seen before in other shows and, and it's really kind of nice to see those same familiar faces. Um, I don't know why it makes the story more interesting for me, but I find myself more compelled to watch when I recognize the people who are coming in and out of the show. Um, this season's um, biggest story arc though was about Damien Dark and his plans to ultimately destroy the city and the world through a nuclear holocaust. Um, in this season, they kind of reference season one uh, a bit more. They're kind of making it come full circle because the undertaking was like a smaller um, scale version of what Damien Dark wants to do. He has much more grandiose plans, as it were, um, to rebuild the whole world instead of just rebuilding a section of Star City. He just happens to base his operations in Star City, which makes the Arrow get involved to um, have to try and stop him. So it was a lot of fun to watch this season. I'm really hooked still. I can't wait to watch more. Um, I've actually already kind of skipped into season five and started watching that. Um, so I'm looking forward to talking to you all about that. If you guys watch, let me know what you think about season four. Um, I'm really enjoying myself. So I can't wait to see more. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. And I will talk to you all real soon.